You've got your TMA, your questions, and I've got your answers. This is The Gun War. So a subscriber by the name of DJ Wizkid asks, when am I gonna make homemade organic kefir, which is the most powerful probiotic on planet Earth? Well, to answer your question, DJ Wizkid, I will be making that as soon as it gets here. It should be here in about a week. What I did though, is I wrote a list of preparations that you and I can make before it gets here. Preparations for homemade kefir the most powerful probiotic on earth, the TMA eating bacteria. I mean, that shit just slays it. Uh, okay, so we're gonna need jars with plastic lids. You want plastic lids because metal affects kefir. You don't want kefir to ever touch metal. It just ruins it a little bit. Uh, you want a wooden or plastic spoon. You're gonna want one. You're gonna need a Nylon or plastic strainer. You don't want one of those old metal archaic spaghetti strainers because uh, it doesn't like the metal. Um, order your live organic cultures. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the description uh, a link on the cultures that I ordered. They had really good reviews and they're organic, so fingers crossed. I, I hope they they were awesome. Uh, Scout and find a store near you that has organic grass-fed milk, the highest quality milk you can find. Find it so whenever your kefir gets here, you know where you can find some darn good milk. And I wrote some reminders here for you guys. Uh, you're buying kefir right now. Try to find organic kefir, like Maple Hill or Wallaby or higher end kefirs. Right now a lot of subscribers are getting LifeWay, which is cool, which is cool, you're doing something. I get LifeWay too. That I believe I drank 50% LifeWay and that's what got me to where I am now with zero reactions for seven months. Uh, and I established a new colony of lactobacillus. Um, so yeah, try to get organic and highest quality of kefirs you can for now until you have your homemade kefir. And make preparations for homemade. This stuff blows the home, the store bot out of the water. Um, for now, is maintain a low choline diet. I've noticed that some subscribers don't even know what a low choline diet, and they have TMAU. Please study a low choline diet. I'm going to put in the description links to foods that have low choline. I've got a video that goes over what I ate whenever I had TMAU too. Um, Okay, and here's a recommendation. I recommend, I invite the idea of getting a gut test through ubiome.com. I'll put a description below. Uh, ubiome.com charges about $89 for a gut test that they mail you one at home. And this isn't something you have to do. I'm not sponsored by freaking ubiome, but it's really insightful seeing the exact bacteria that are missing and all of my healthy beneficial bacteria were extinct. But you've already heard that song. Uh, other than that, all of this is just advice. But I hope it helps you to win the gut war.